Let's go. Come back from breakfast empty handed. Nothing's there. Fuming. Yo, yeah, Namal, what's up? You right? What are you doing? Just watching Tom Allen football on TikTok. You should go follow it. Oh, cheers, mate. Squad is rolling to college. Let's go. Class, so much fun. One eternity later. All right, the boys have just arrived back from accounting. Aaron 35, lecture done. That is the only class for today though, so it's quite chill. We've got a game obviously later. We're gonna get some editing done, I think, right now. And then we're gonna get the accounting homework that we've just been set done. So we're free for today in terms of homework. Let's get going. Pretty much meal, T minus four and a half hours. Get some calories in. 2,000 years later. Hey Joe, how are we feeling for the Hola, game? Hola, si senora. Because you're a female, so hello, si senora. Hello, oh, yes, mi yes, partners. misses. Hello. Right, okay. We got chill vibes in this one, haven't we? Well, I'm sorry, who's that? I'm who's that? Who's that? Look, we got, look at the space I've got. Beautiful, you love to see it. Oh, that new boot smell. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Benny? Say that again. Damn. And welcome to game day. Today we are at Onondaga Community College. Now we only made a short drive here. It took roughly around an hour and a half to get here. So not too long a trip over here in the States, but it's quite a short one. So we're looking to get into this game to continue our six game running streak and make that seven on the bounce and hopefully aiming to get into nationals as a result of this. Here we can see we kicked off here nice and early and we're coming forward on the attack. Archie playing Keegan. Keegan with a nice ball across here. He's played it into Joe. It's just fallen away from him. But he's still got the ball under control. Trev's got it. He's going to run it down the line. He's put it across and the keeper's done well to cut the ball out. And it's bounced back out to Joe. Joe's put it on the edge of the box. Borny here looking to get a shot opportunity. Lakoketa. Lakoketa again. He's going to go through on goal. Can he get shot off? It's blocked. Unlucky. Very good from Borny there early on. And we've created a nice chance. We started off very well in this game with that early chance there. As you can see, we're getting a decent bit of possession and we're trying to play across. Here we can see Keeks pressing from the front. Great challenge there to win the ball back here. And he's got a bit of time and space and he's had a shot and it's bounced off the post and very, very unlucky there. With chances few and far between in this first half, On and Daga have come forward here. They've got a very good opportunity there. He's had a strike in the box and it's found the bottom corner there. Not much Hoagie could do because it did take a deflection on the way through. We find ourselves 1-0 down. Onondaga coming down this near hand side with a very pacey winger here. He's going to put the ball across the box. There's someone at the back post and somehow he's managed to put it wide. We need to start stepping up our game here because these are opportunities that we can't be giving away. 
and with very few opportunities there for both teams we are going to be going into the break 1-0 down so we're going to be looking to turn this around in the second half and hopefully get back on the way to a win and just like that we are back underway with the Bobcats kicking off once again Onondaga on this far side coming forward they've put a ball over the top and he seems to caught out of defence he's just gone over Hoagie but luckily for us the ball has gone over the goal there up the other end now as you can see we've managed to win a free kick in a very dangerous position here it looks like Joe Elliott's going to be taking this on the right but no it's Borny and Borny's whipped it the Fletcher and it's a goal 1-1 one, one, equalising goal for the Bobcats there very very big goal and very very crucial moment for us in the game hoping to turn this around and make it a win Straight back with some more action here. Onondaga have a corner on the near side. It's going to be whipped in. It's gone all the way to the back post. And an unmarked man has put it in the back of the net. Exactly what we didn't want to happen after getting that equaliser. 2-1 to Onondaga. We've got some more work to be doing here. Now we've seen this before. Another free kick in a dangerous position. borny has gone for it again. This time near post. Keeper spilled here. Trev's had a shot across. And another save from the keeper. And it's rolled out for a corner big chance there and unfortunately can't be converted into a goal hopefully we can get one in a minute the Bobcats coming forward again here Borny with an unbelievable ball across the pitch Trevor's managed to beat his man he's going to bear forward on goal on his left foot he's put it across the box and he's been saved at the near post a very good chance again Trevor doing a lot of work there and creating a great opportunity another corner here and Onondaga have chosen to play this one short here and the man's looking to get across in. He's doing well here. He's played it back out to the corner taker. He's whipped it in. He's gone to the far post again. And there's another man there to put the ball in the back of the net for Onondaga to make it 3 1. Now that is going to kill off the game really for them. And they've done very well to convert there. We should be marking at the back post, but we haven't. And unfortunately, it's cost us. Now that game is going to come to an end here with the final whistle and unfortunately we are going to finish with a 3-1 loss here which is a very tough one to take and not what we wanted to do today but we're going to have to look to bounce back again soon and I think this one will hit all the boys quite close to home and not be an easy one to take that's tough man <sighs> A loss 3-1. I played pretty poorly and most of the team played pretty poorly and we lost to three silly mistakes. Obviously not in a very good mood. I think out here um, losing definitely hits harder. And back home I feel like I feel like out here coming out here is definitely the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Like I miss my family so, so much, like, I don't think there's been a day where I haven't cried since I've been here. just missing my family. And then, when you had football not going well, it, it just, it brings everything down on you. Like, the other day, my brain stupidly thought my jacket on my bed was my dog. And then... When when it realised it wasn't my dog, I just I just broke down, and I'm gonna leave this in because I'm real on this channel. And I show pretty much everything, so. This will stay in. This just is so, so hard out here. But I want to I wanna play professional football one day. So this is what I've got to do.